All right, we are back in the booth this morning and I was just gonna do a product review on this new Galeri airbrush. Um, the model number is GHC-98 with a 0.38 millimeter needle and nozzle kit. Um, it comes, uh, this is actually the A series. This is the top of the line one they have out right now. There's actually five. You have a classic, an advanced, a premium, the ace, and a supreme that has not come out yet. Um, the price point on the airbrush is $99. Um, very, pretty good value. That kind of drew me to it. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and we'll see what we got. It comes fairly nicely packaged. It actually has a schematic in the box for the parts, which is kind of nice to have. Then you don't have to worry about a piece of paper. As long as you hang on to your box, you're good to go. It comes with extra washers. And it comes with a quick start guide. And it's all in English, so I would imagine that they're trying to target the U.S. market with this. Uh, kind of gives you some pointers and tips on things on how the airbrush works. And it comes with a piece of foam over it. And let's take it on out. The only thing it doesn't come with, it come, well, this came still, it comes with a, uh, with a quick connect. I done taken the whole thing apart. That's not good. I'll put that back. I actually have put a, um, a trigger pad on this. It would not come with that, but it comes with a quick connect. Um, first initial impression, it's, it's, it's heavy. It's nice. It's actually, um, you can tell it's not cheaply made. It comes with a cup actually separate. And the cool thing about the cup is it's got a a mirror a mirror like finish. You can actually see it in the camera and it's very easy to clean. I've been using the brush now for about a week. I wanted to try it before I did a review on it and I only really gave it a week and I painted every night with it. I painted a few lures and then I just practiced with it on uh, canvas and paper towels just seeing how it would how it would paint. Um it has excellent, excellent atomization. I, I did a few, I did a few lures with it, and uh, I was, I was really, really impressed with um, with how it painted, um, how it atomized the paint. I actually, I actually sprayed um, water-based paint with it. I sprayed solvent base. I sprayed UVLS with it, and I, I didn't have any problems. It's uh, it's got a unique um eight micro air channel nozzle in it. It's so tiny, I doubt I'd be able to show it to you on on camera. But it's a really unique system. It just drops in. It's not screwed in. It's kind of like the Eclipse. Oh, uh, but it has a a flexible needle, and I I don't quite understand that yet. I haven't gotten a response back. Oh. Uh, from them on this. Let me. I've been spraying with this, and it may have. It's gotten a little bit stuck here. Let me just get it pulled out. I'm sure I've gotten paint and stuff in it, but it's very, very flexible. It bends, and that's kind of, kind of wild, really. You can see I need to clean the needle. I've been using it. But I brought a few other airbrushes over that I kind of, it, it, it really does. It's a, it's got that Iwata feel. It really does. I've got, you know, another Iwata knockoff in the, 
and the Creos, but this is actually a little bit, it feels nicer than the Creos, even though I wouldn't trade that Creos for anything. The Creos is just a, is an awesome gun. But I think, you know, like I said, it's, you know, you, the, uh, this is the Eclipse. It has the same exact trigger on it that the Eclipse has. But I really think that they're targeting not the, just by the looks of this gun. Now, this is my HPCH, but I think they're more going toward the CH, the, uh, the HPCH Plus uh, without the flow control um, because they look identical. I mean, the brushes, you can't, you couldn't tell them apart uh, except for the flow control nozzle on this one. But it, I was, I, I got to tell you, for, for the money, I was really impressed with it. It, um, it's got the preset fluid control in the back here where you can, you know, control how far you pull your trigger back. It's got the needle chuck exposed where you can tighten that up or loosen it, whatever you want to do. I always spray it without the cap on, but I'll take that and set it in there because I will do a test on it for you. Um, the only thing negative that I can say about this is I'm used to spraying when I push down and pull. I, I have to pull back just a little bit farther than I normally would with the guns I normally use, especially my detail brushes. But on the on the flip of that, you can't you can't compare it to that. It's a it's not a it's not a micron. It's not a um, PS seven seven one. It's more catered toward I think the HPCH plus the C this plus C. It looks just like it. Um, but I really have. I've, I've enjoyed using it. And for somebody starting out, or anybody that's been around for a while, I, I mean, I've been painting almost 10 years now, and I'll use this gun every day. It's, it's got a, a really nice feel, quality. Somebody starting out for the money until you decide what you're going to do. I mean, some people don't. They... They think that airbrushes don't matter, but I, I think they do matter. But, but that's all on on whoever's you know spraying the gun. Um, so I'm gonna put some gloves on real quick, and I'll, I'll do a little spray test with it, and I'll also do a little bit on my new booth here. This is the first time I've sprayed in in the new booth, so let me go ahead and put this up. It does come with a um, a cup cap. I don't use a cup cap much, and it does come with some. I hope I'm pronouncing their company right, Galeri Lube. So we'll put that on up. And the only place that I know that you can get this is Amazon. I got it off of Amazon. Um, they have a couple, like I said, they've got a couple other different models. Um, it comes with a quick connect, which that's kind of nice. So I can just pop it in here. I'm gonna set this to the side and set that gun there. And I'll put a little bit of carbon black in it and just do a little spray test for you. It, it does. It, it, it's going to really, um, I think, kind of shock you. It's, it, it really sprays really nice. And this is my first time spraying in the booth on here. And I'm going to turn my fan on, my extractor. And it's very quiet. And I'll do a little bit of water in it to show you. It just sucks it right on through. Takes it right out the window of the shop. And that's a very nice feature to have. These these Pace booths are very nice. I have the 36 inch Deluxe and I have a 24 inch Deluxe that I have in the other house that I paint in. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put some um, some black paint in here. You can see it come out. I'm not. I'm not trying to do a fine line, but you can see it's going to do pencil-like lines. It's a. It's not like I said for detail. I think it's going to be very nice. 
for somebody that's looking for a detailed brush that's not really that expensive, it does very fine lines. I was just really shocked with the with the actual quality of it. The, the angle of the cup is really close to um, to the handle here. I, I just, um, I like mine a little farther away because I like to put the pad on it, but it'll, it'll spray a wide pattern and then it'll spray a tiny pattern like writing with a pen. So if you're really looking for a detailed brush, I don't think you'll go wrong with it. It'll do fine dots. I've really gotten so I like the gun. For $99, it's just, it's not a bad deal. And like I said, it comes with a quick connect. Um, as soon as I find out what the flexible needle is with that, I'll, 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 I'll say that on another video and tell you what the deal is with that. The cup is actually deeper than most airbrushes too. When you screw it in, it's got probably a, a quarter of an inch drop before it goes into the gun. But it does a fine, fine line. You really can't. For an all-purpose gun, it's very, very nice. I don't think you can go wrong with it. And like I said, it, it'll it spray wide, but it'll also do very fine lines. And it's, for $99, I don't think you could go wrong. And, and if, if you were looking for a new airbrush and you were wanting to have a little bit of detail with it, I don't, I just don't think you can go wrong. Like I said, I sprayed stencils with it this week when I did this crawl and it did just as good as my Micron or my PS771 Creos. Oh, uh, I was really um, impressed with it. So I hope everybody likes the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. So, you know, when I have upcoming videos, oh, uh, I mean, just check it out. This, like I said, this is the GHAC-98 Ace. It's the top of the line one right now. They have one more coming out. So if you're interested in it, go by Amazon, check it out. I'm not sponsored by them. I've, I've purchased this with my own money. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.